Anybody who's ever traveled any decent number of miles with a boat has had this happen to them. The winch strap ends up fraying and then breaking and you end up tying a knot to keep your boat safely attached to the trailer. In today's episode, we're gonna show you how to replace the winch strap on your trailer. It looks complicated, but if you follow these step-by-step -step procedures, you'll be able to do it, save yourself some time and money. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. And I'm Megan Fuller. Stick around. Hey, Megan, what do you think this is? Uh, well, I think it's supposed to be a winch strap. Winch strap right? for a trailer, right. But one of the guys who stores his boat down at the barn ended up having an old one break, and so he asked me to replace it. So we got we went ahead and made this video to kind of give a step-by-step -step of how do you replace this winch strap. Okay. So let's go down to the barn, and we'll kind of walk you through it. Sounds good. So Megan, what we're doing right now is the first step is to take the handle off of the winch. That's the first step. Most people don't realize that you have to take the shroud off of this in order to get to the winch strap. So right now, the second step, we're going to remove the main bolt on the main gear. Once we did that, now you're going to see that we're going to go to the forward prowl and take that bolt off. So that's the third step is take the bolt out of the prowl. And what is a prowl? So the prowl is the switch on your winch that you switch it one way and it lets you take the boat off the winch. And then you switch it the other way and you can crank it back up onto the trailer. Okay. So you see that we're getting the shroud off. Now we're going to be able to, once we get that shroud off, we'll be able to actually pull that gear, that winch gear off. Now I want you to look, as we pull that off, there's one pin, I'm gonna point to it right there. Uh -huh. And that pin, a lot of people think that the strap is attached to that pin, but you can see that pin right there. We're about to take it off. That pin actually pinches the strap between that pin and the hub of the gear. that There is a pocket on the winch strap and there's a floating bar that slips inside that pocket. You're gonna see this, I'm pulling out that pin and now what I'm gonna do is take the old winch strap off and you're going to see that bar. See that bar right in the pocket? I'm gonna have to cut that out, that bar on this strap was so rusted and corroded that it wouldn't pull out but once i got a cut you can see that bar come right out of there oh, okay. so we put the bar into the new winch strap after i take that out and we put it right back in just like that into the new one and we assembled that in now we're going to put the shroud back on again now we're pretty much going to just retrace our steps put the shroud on then the next step we're gonna put the main bolt back into the gear and tighten that up. And then once we get that on, we're gonna go back to the forward prowl. There we are getting to the forward prowl. So again, you can see we're just retracing our steps. Right. We've got the main gear and then the forward prowl. And then once we have that, we'll put the handle back on. Okay. And now that we've got the handle tightened, we're going to winch up the new winch. And as we crank that down, once we get, and there's a lot of winch in there, but once we get that winch in, we'll hook it up to the boat and we'll tighten it. This is something that you also have to pay attention to. As you put it on, it's very loose. And now it takes up all of that slack as you tighten it up against to the against the boat so once we have that done we're just about ready and we're finished up great and that happens only on mark fisher's outdoors <laughs> make sure you tune in